eyes and ears on the ground for you right now. In Rancho Bernardo, our Heather Myers is with us. Heather, uh, where are you and what can you share? Well, Dan and Michelle, I'm standing here on a street in Rancho Bernardo. The name of the street is Lancashire Street. This is one of the streets that's been devastated by this wildfire. One of the streets that's actually been hit the hardest. In fact, 20 homes on the street right here have been destroyed by this fire. If you walk up and down the street, it's just house after house. You see driveways. They go up to just rubble. I mean, it's every side of the street, almost all the way down the street. But what's interesting, guys, if you can follow me over here, Bello, is that the fire comes up right here to this street. Uh, this house right here, but then the next house down the street is not burned. And I know you can't see it from this angle right here, but the following house after that is burned. So it just kind of hopscotch is the term we've been using to describe what this fire has done through this entire street. Now, guys, I remember during the Cedar Fire when people were not allowed back inside their neighborhoods, but the media was, and there was reporters kind of rummaging through what was left of people's homes. I don't want to do that because I want to give the homeowners an opportunity to come back and go through their homes themselves and see if they can find anything inside this rubble. I know oftentimes during a fire, they'll be able to save one thing, even if it's a piece of jewelry or, or a mug or something that did survive this fire. So the homeowner should be allowed to do that before anybody else walks inside this rubble here. We're not exactly sure when the homeowners will be allowed onto the property here on Lancashire Street here in Rancho Bernardo, but I do have some news as far as other streets in this area that will be open. That includes Paseo del Verano, also homes east of Palmerado Road and north of Escola Road west of Poway. So I know that's kind of a big area. It's going to be uh, hard to find exactly your way in that area. But I can tell you guys, driving down Rancho Bernardo Road, coming up to Palmerado Road here, uh, it, there's a lot of gridlock out there, especially on Rancho Bernardo Road. A lot of people wanting answers. A lot of people wanting to get back inside their homes. We're not exactly sure when they're going to be opening up some of those streets I just listed off. But the good news is, is that some homeowners whose homes are still standing, they will be able to get back inside their homes, hopefully sooner than later. 